What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren and a lot is happening with Marvel right now. They are changing their direction that they are taking the MCU. Projects are being cancelled or changed into different projects and we have had a lot of release date changes. So in this video we'll be going over all of the upcoming Marvel Studios movies that are coming out for phase 5 and phase 6. We'll go over when they are arriving and what their status is so far and if they're in jeopardy of being delayed or cancelled while Marvel Studios right now works on improving the overall quality of the MCU. And if you did miss the news, Disney CEO Bob Iger a few days ago did confirm they have canceled some projects, stating, you have to kill things you no longer believe in, and that's not easy in this business. In that same interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he stated, it's not an easy thing, but you have to make these tough calls. We've actually made those tough calls. We've not been that public about it, but we've killed a few projects already that we just didn't feel were strong enough. So Marvel is canceling projects, but they are doing this to improve. So let's talk about what they have coming up as far as movies are concerned. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. So again, these are just the movies. We'll do shows in another video because there is a lot going on with shows right now, a lot of cancellations or changes. So stay tuned for that. But the first movie we have coming out, of course, is Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool 3 coming out July 26th of 2024. Our only Marvel movie for 2024. There are some shows coming out, but this is the only movie. Now, you might have heard that they are doing reshoots. They're about to start doing reshoots for Deadpool and Wolverine. This is not really bad news. I saw a lot of people talking online on Twitter or X. People were saying, oh no, Marvel Studios, they have to do reshoots for Deadpool and Wolverine because it's not that good. This is the same thing that kind of happened with other movies. They had to completely redo many scenes. In some cases, a lot of the actual movies for other movies that were coming out, this is not the case for Deadpool and Wolverine. They just have a few add-ins they want to do or a few scenes that they want to touch up that they feel that they could do better. But we know that most of the movie really is done. Even Bob Iger, CEO of Disney, has stated that he's loved what they shown him so far and he thinks fans are going to be really really happy with this one and we know how ryan reynolds mind works he is constantly coming up with really clever ideas so he very well just could have had a great idea and said hey kevin we need to do this. And Kevin Feige simply said, yeah, we do need to do this. Let's do some reshoots. We never know. But reshoots do not mean that the movie is delayed or that the movie is going to be bad. If anything, it's going to be better because they are improving either by adding a better scene or improving on a scene that they already shot. So no announcement of a delay there. And I don't think it's going to get delayed considering it's Marvel's only movie in 2024 and it's positioned right in the middle of the year. Then jumping to 2025, we have Captain America Brave New World coming out right now on February 14th. 14th, Valentine's Day, taking a page from the Madam Web book, releasing on Valentine's Day. Now, this was supposed to come out basically when Deadpool 3 was coming out. However, this was one of the projects that got pushed back because Marvel basically decided that what they had so far was not good enough. The movie has undergone major reshoots and major rewrites of the script. The Serpent Society was reportedly going to be in the first version of this movie, but are no longer in the movie. It's also been said that they reshot the final scene, but the final scene will still indeed be Red Hulk versus Captain America. It's also said that there are going to be several Hulk related characters in this film, which makes sense because we are talking about Super Soldier Serum all throughout this movie. And of course, Thunderbolt Ross is going to be Red Hulk. As of right now, we've heard everything is on schedule for that February 14th release date. And of course, if we hear anything else, we'll be sure to do an update video. Then we have the Thunderbolts, another movie that was pushed back. It was supposed to release in 2024, but now it is 2025, hopefully coming out on the scheduled release date of May 2nd. The Thunderbolts seemingly suffered the same as Captain America Brave New World. They did some reshoots, rewrites, but overall the story is supposed to be pretty interesting. From what we know, they are essentially sent on a mission in which the plan was for them to not return. However, they realize it's a suicide mission and then work together to get out of the situation. They are also introducing Sentry in the Thunderbolts, who is going to be played now by Lewis Pullman from Top Gun Maverick. It was Stephen Yeun from The Walking Dead, but sadly he had to leave the project. Scheduling issues due to the movie being pushed back, unfortunately. Then we have what I know many, many people, if not everyone, is really excited for, 
the Fantastic Four coming July 25th of 2025. I think this is definitely in the top two or three for many people's most anticipated Marvel projects, especially after on this past Valentine's Day, they announced the official cast. And if you didn't catch that, Pedro Pascal is officially R. Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic. Vanessa Kirby is Sue Storm, aka The Invisible Woman. Joseph Quinn will be playing her brother on screen, Johnny Storm the Human Torch, and Ebon Moss Bakrach is going to be playing Ben Grimm, aka The Thing. And it's even more exciting to know that the reported villain for the movie is going to be Galactus and a couple of his heralds, one being the Silver Surfer, and one is rumored to be Terax, who was a problematic herald for Galactus. So that'll be interesting to see on screen if that indeed does happen. And there's also been the report that this movie might take place in another universe, not the main 616 universe that we We've been seeing this whole time for the MCU, and if that does happen, that'll be really interesting to see, especially going into Secret Wars. Then we have Blade, hopefully coming out November 7th of 2025. Hopefully it simply just comes out. With all of the changes that this movie has gone through, I just hope at this point in time that the movie does indeed get released. This movie has gone through several different writers, several different scripts, but the good news is, is that in the beginning, Mahershala Ali really was not that excited about the scripts that he saw. But now, reportedly, the script is much better and Mahershala Ali is excited and he likes the script. And I do think it's all also a very good sign that he has stuck around after all of these script changes. And keep in mind, these aren't just little changes made to the script. They have rewritten the entire script several times. So the fact that he is still here is a great sign. And hopefully what we've heard is true and the new script is really good. Not much is really known about the film besides the fact that it is going to be a rated R movie along with Deadpool 3. And the rumored villain is Lilith, who in Marvel Comics is Dracula's daughter and the mother of all demons. I think she would be a very interesting villain to see on screen. So hopefully the script rewrites didn't write her out of that. But again, if we hear anything else, we'll do an update video. And then the last two movies that are confirmed are of course our next two Avengers films. Avengers The King Dynasty coming out on May 1st of 2026 and Avengers Secret Wars coming out May 7th of 2027. Now not much is really known about these films right now. They are still writing these scripts for them but according to the Hollywood Reporter Avengers The King Dynasty right now is simply titled Avengers 5 over at Marvel Studios. This is due to the fact that Jonathan Majors has been fired by Marvel Studios and maybe they aren't going to focus on Kang so much until a Avengers Secret Wars comes around. Marvel has not yet commented on this besides the fact that they confirmed they fired Jonathan Majors, but we have heard some rumblings of recastings lately for Kang the Conqueror, so Avengers 5 still could be Kang Dynasty. And as far as Secret Wars is concerned, we know that it's going to show us a lot of different universes and a lot of different variants, both of good guys and bad guys. From what we've heard, characters like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is going to show up, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is going to continue on and appear in Secret Wars, and perhaps we'll get some old cameos like Robert Downey Jr. returning as Iron Man. A variant, of course, and the same with Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson. Now, keep in mind these are all the confirmed movies that have stated release dates right now by Marvel Studios, but of course there are other movies that are going to come out as well, like Shang-Chi 2, Doctor Strange 3. I'd like to say Armor Wars, but that could be one of the projects that Marvel Studios just simply ended up canceling. But of course there's a rumored Solo Hulk movie in the works, and there is a rumored The Scarlet Witch solo project as well. So the movies we stated are the confirmed ones, but expect other movies like these to show up eventually as well. And again, once we hear anything official, we'll be sure to let you know. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Please don't forget to give this video a like. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, or some Marvel Legends items. The winner picks one item and we pick one winner at the end of each month. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf.